Contrasting styles meeting at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo as defensive-minded Mission Prep hosting the high-powered offense of San Yanez. Aloha, Rooster. Kevin Roos just back from Hawaii, and he's back on the sidelines. Hey, Mike, happy to be back. Some feared I might have entered the transfer portal, but no, just a quick vacation tonight. We've got Mission Prep in their new home, or Airbnb, taking on San Inez, their Mountain League rival. Both teams coming in tonight 2-1. and one. Now, unlike some people's relationships, not a lot of history between these two. In fact, this will be just the second meeting in the last 20 years. Let's get to the action. Mission Prep's defense averaging just 11 points per game so far. Been very stingy, and uh, the Pirates' offense averaging 44 points per game, so something's got to give. First quarter under three minutes to go, third and goal. They hand it off to Dallas DeForest. He's got reservations for six on the sweep, taking it into the end zone. They would miss the PAT. Pirates up six, nothing. Then uh, first and 19 in the second quarter, Thomas Glenn hooking up with Drew Souza with a great catch as the ball doinks off the defender's helmet, using his Jedi powers there to bring that one in. Thomas Glenn on the next play here, can't find anybody as he's rolling out, so he's just gonna take it himself, gonna survive the hard hit, still gets the ball somehow over the goal line for the touchdown. They would get their PAT, so now they're up seven to six at that point. Still in the second quarter, Glenn gonna hand off here to Luke Terry, and he finds a hole and he just keeps right on going. 33 yards to the house, 14 to six mission prep. That's how it would be at the half. We move to the fourth quarter now, third and five. Gonna hand it off here to Ronnie Kardashian and he's gonna take it on the sweep himself, go right down the sideline and Pirates can't keep up with that Kardashian. It's 27-6 Royals, they go on to win big, 41 to six. Next week, mission prep will host Napomo, San Inez will host Rigetti. In San Luis Obispo tonight for Friday Football Focus, Kevin Roos, Mike, back to you. How much are we paying Roos if he's in Hawaii, right? Staying in the Mountain League, Rigetti at Paso Robles. Tony Omanza has our report. Hey, Mike, both these teams lost last week but are looking to get back on track. Rigetti looking for their second win, while Paso Robles looks for their first win of the season. Let's get to those game highlights. Last season, when these teams met, the Bearcats came out with the win. On their first possession, the Warriors came out swinging as RJ Fuentes breaks free and runs it downfield for a nice game. But a missed field goal kept the game scoreless. Bearcats now with the ball and James Kogan gets picked off by Damian Moran. Rigetti gets on the board first as Fuentes runs it in 7-0 Warriors. But Paso Robos answered back as they drive the ball downfield. Kogan rolls out and finds Tristan Salgado in the end zone for an eight-yard touchdown. Late in the second quarter, the Warriors had to punt the ball away and the Bearcats able to block the punt. With one second to go before halftime, Kogan launched one in the end zone and Tristan Salgado able to jump up to make the catch to give the Bearcats the lead. Paso Robos gets the win 21-14. The Warriors play San Inez next week and the Bearcats play Lompoc. Thank you, Tony. Quite a Hail Mary and a win for Paso. Let's take a dip in the Ocean League. San Luis Obispo and Cabrillo playing a wild one. The visiting Tigers started the scoring with a good effort on the ground by Isaiah Hernandez. 7-0. Cabrillo answers right back. Gage Mattis to an open Thomas Kiesling. Eight-yard touchdown, 7-7. The home conquistadors hitting the home run ball. Mattis with a perfect strike to Blake Gregory in stride. 65-yard touchdown, 13-7. Cabrillo, San Luis Obispo. Chewing up the yards on the ground again, it's Hernandez. He's gonna rip off a big gain. Look at number nine go, breaking multiple tackles. He gets deep into Conk's territory. San Luis Obispo finishing off that drive with a go-ahead touchdown. Michael Milner to the outside, three yards for the score. And then how about more Isaiah Hernandez? He had a hat trick, three touchdowns in the first half. And as Cabrillo wins uh, San Luis Obispo, Builds a 42-13 lead. They hold off Cabrillo, 49-37. Cabrillo, three touchdowns in the fourth quarter to make it close. Big one next week for San Luis Obispo. They host a Tascadero. All right, St. Bonaventure Sarah's highlights after the break.